They're the long-lost photos of Sonny and Cher during the best of times. She was a slightly overweight young lady with a large nose and uh, somewhat shy demeanor. From Bob Dylan's secret obsession for Cher to Sonny's serious side, they're the portraits of a pop duo. Keep the musical train chugging along with unseen shots of Sonny and Cher's early years. And the photographer who snapped these flower power photos says the pictures reveal a lot about the counterculture couple. They're the lost photos that show the sweeter side of America's favorite hippy dippy couple. They were just like very lovey-dovey, very cuddly kind of couple, and, and, and they really seemed like they enjoyed each other's company, and they were very comfortable with each other. Now, 30 years later, photojournalist Don Paulson remembers his photo sessions with a couple he says helped shape pop culture. Nobody had the impact that Sonny and Cher had when they first emerged on the scene. Their style was, was 60s. They had the mod clothes, the mod hairdos, and they had a sense of outrageousness. They really had a very distinctive identity. Don Paulson first met Sonny and Cher when he was working as an editor for Hit Parader magazine. There's things here that people have never seen going on in the music business, and I wanted to take pictures of that. And you never know who you might run into, like Bob Dylan. Bob had the hots for Cher, and he thought she was really cool, and he wanted to meet her. It's a rare smiling picture because, uh, again, he was just happy to be with Cher, even though Sonny had come in between them. Dylan sort of got his arm up in the air, and he sort of pointed to her like, you know, she's the one I really, wanted, I really came here to see. Cher captivated the likes of Bob Dylan with her beauty, but it was Sonny who had the business sense. Sonny was definitely the sort of the brains behind the scene. He was very ambitious and he was very gregarious. He never let success go to his head. And he also made it clear that Cher was very much a part of his dream, that this was something that the two of them were gonna do together. These rare photos show a softer side of Cher that few know. She was a slightly overweight young lady with a large nose and uh, somewhat shy demeanor uh, who sort of deferred to Sonny most of the time. And I never in a thousand years would have imagined that she would have become the superstar that she, she eventually became. As the beat went on for Sonny and Cher, life together didn't work out. But when Cher spoke at Sonny's funeral, it was clear she loved Sonny. And the pictures Don Paulson caught on film certainly show like never before, Sonny and Cher's legendary bond. I think that, you know, since the death of Sonny, I think people are reevaluating them. And the rest is history.